So what then are dreams? There are two parts to think about when considering dreams. The first part being the biological process going on within the brain itself. The brain is made up of neurons or nerve cells, each of which connects to many other neurons by means of synapses. Electrochemical signals pass along the neurons to the synapse and then to a connected neuron. The electrochemical signal itself is an all or nothing signal. Either the message is sent or it's not sent. Dreams can be viewed as bored neurons and synapses listening out for something to happen. The synapse is waiting for a signal and then responding to the signal and passing on to the neuron connected with it to create a thought or even a pattern of thoughts. However, the reaction of the synapse is related to how often it is actually stimulated. The more often it's stimulated, the less likely it is to pass on a message. Like most nerves, they become desensitised over time and stop feeling the impulse and reaction. The opposite is also the case. The longer they go without being stimulated, the weaker and the weaker the signal that is required to actually set them off and eventually, like an ear strained to hear a faint sound, they'll be set off thinking that they've heard a stimulus when none actually existed. The neurons in the brain connect with each other across synapses, establish roots, meaning that one thought is very likely to lead to another related thought. This brings us to the second part, about the images of people people see in dreams. Mm, say you dream about your uncle in a park, which you think is strange because it's ages since you've seen or even thought about either the uncle or the park, and you've never actually met the uncle in the park. But it's precisely because you haven't thought about them for so long that part of your brain was waiting for the remotest signal regarded them to remind them about them. In the park you then may see a balloon seller who sells you loads of balloons and you float off into the sky. All this is your brain trying to make sense out of distantly related images in some kind of cohesive narrative, putting it together like a link story, image after image after image, how can we tie this one to this one to this one? That's my thought on dreams. What's yours?